Your mind is being altered by stoned ape theories with Hubo, Kapowski, and Broseph Smith. A podcast where we alter our perception of reality and discuss the meaning of life on this pale blue dot. My state, my Wake up! We're live! We finally got here! (laughs) Wake up, sheeple. Oh my god. Episode 95. We the fuck Fuck out here. We're already halfway through the doodle for the episode. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've been trying to fix PC issues for two and a half hours. Technical difficulties. But before we get too far into it, go check out patreon.com slash stonedape3s podcast. You can get access to our Discord. We got fun shit happening over there. You can also, we got fucking Watch me play with my cock. We got bonus content. We have all the uncensored. We already keep it pretty uncensored here, but all the really, really uncensored shit. We do whatever we want over there. Go check it the fuck out. That's Patreon. We also got merch. The collaboratory.myshopify.com. We got, yeah, there's stuff on there. Go check it out. Yeah, it's stupid, <laughs> funny stuff. Yeah. 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 I do stupid doodles good. every week. I'm already halfway through this one. It'll be revealed in the episode. You can also get access to them over on the Patreon. Fuck yeah. 95. Yeah, we're, we're here. here. Fuck yeah, dude. All kinds of fucking crazy shit's going on in this world. It's falling apart. You know, we're trying to maintain our our sanity. Uh, We've made some personal uh, choices recently to shift the direction of uh, how we're approaching everything. Right. Which is pretty exciting and is uh, kind of lit a new fire. Uh, So, yeah, that's fucking, that's exciting. Under the anus. Yeah. I I quit, guys. Oh, fucking congratulations. (laughs) Hey. Let's fucking hear it for Brendog. Yeah, he's uh, deleted Grinder. He deleted yeah, Grinder. Seventeen, yep. seventeen days off, guys. Yep, yep. dude, <laughs> big milestone. Crazy. Fuck yeah, it is. Yep, Thank that's you. what he put yeah. in his butt. <laughs> was a milestone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Every mile that he walks, he just takes a moment to remember the stone, and he like focuses on it. And then he can just move. It's like a Zen thing, you know, and like a totem, you know, like an yeah. inception, you know, <laughs> you know, like an in inception, they have something, a totem that they keep with them, like a token, I think is what they call it yeah. in the movie. Uh-huh. But his is in his butt. Right. Well, that's a good place to put it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a prayer stone or like any kind of memento, <laughs> like a, like your father's hand me down watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. Already on butt stuff. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's so funny. Yeah, dude, we're good with the algorithm. <laughs> YouTube, they love us. They haven't done anything to, you know, restrict us from re- reaching an audience at all. So yeah, we're just killing it. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. They love us. Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves us. They just don't know us. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, there's no strangers, just friends I haven't met yet. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just need man. to go sleep with the CEO of YouTube, and we should be good. Yeah. Yeah. The guy now, I think. All right, perfect. Well, uh, yeah, and you're All off right. guys oh, yeah. now. I can't. I'm yeah. off you guys can't. again. Oh, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to take one off. for He's the team, re- man. He said he was going to relapse for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, this one right. seems worth it. Yeah. Go brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Uh, so what? What's the new catastrophic thing that's it's happening? It's not gay if the wieners don't touch. Yeah. Uh, you mean the ceasefire? Yeah. Falling through. Yeah. Um, That's also what I call it when the wieners don't touch. The ceasefire. <laughs> falling through. <laughs> in which war? <laughs> uh, in Both the. Of them. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude. I came with extra ammo. I don't even get a fire one shot. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> we got Sky News here. Uh, we got Benjamin Netanyahu rejects ceasefire demands that would leave Hamas intact. 
He says, as Israel cabinet votes to close Al Jazeera office. Um, but so basically the summary that I've seen of this is um, but Hamas was like, we'll Benjamin do a ceasefire. Netan- Netan- Netanyahu if- is essentially the Hitler of Israel. Am I? Yeah, they learned from the best. Right. Like, bro, like, the Jewish people learn from the best. Damn. Um, and so, uh, <laughs> That's why so many of well, them are Nobel scholars and uh, Nobel Prize winners. Yeah, YouTube's going to hate this. But they're actually <laughs> Zionists over there. Like the Hasidic Jews even hate yeah. those Jews. Shadow ban immediately. <laughs> Damn. Um, but for real, what's happening is um, it, it seems like Hamas offered a ceasefire and trade for the hostages. Uh, so they were like, if you guys will do a ceasefire, we'll trade you the hostages. And Israel said no, and is now bombing Rafah once again. And apparently, um, the U.S. Uh, there, there's evidence that who's the going to spank put these fucking children? Pressure, yeah. Like they just need to it's be crazy. bent over a knee and told to behave. Well, no, they're getting everything they want from their rich parents over here in the West. You know? Oh man, they're trust fundy and rebels. Like oh. Israel is just a bunch of is a state of trust fundy and rebels. They're like, yeah, we got endless fucking checkbook like they're gonna fucking just support whatever we do right huh yeah the amount of money we've sent ukraine is absurd (laughs) yeah they just sent and they sent more (laughs) yeah every time i'm like ah they're we can't possibly send more these i mean our cities aren't like fucked up at all we could ukraine is christian more fucking i don't know let's find out Uh yeah, eighty five percent. Okay, but like officially, is it like? A- uh oh, you mean like like does the government identify it as a Christian nation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more to the say, eighty five percent of people are Christian. Yeah, seventy two percent are Eastern Orthodox. Nine oh, percent are that Catholic. Orthodox shit is interesting, dude. They like made up a bunch of extra shit. We're just like, uh, no. okay, sure. Like we're gonna be super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> thought the other people had a lot of rules <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're gonna take all the flavor out of the food then you yeah. can't appreciate life at all and then you'll know anything. how much you love jesus yeah <laughs> it's like what <laughs> like the only birthday you get to celebrate is jesus birthday yeah now worship him drink his blood and eat his flesh yeah <laughs> and be happy that he died for your sins so that you could be so happy and enjoy life Right. Hi guys, welcome to our podcast. Yeah, are you guys happy yet? Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, dude. Are You're... you not entertained? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you not eaten Russian cuisine? I or... got the Leonidas beard. Oh Just shit, homie's out here, just flexing on the hose. Yep. Yeah, dude. Straight. Think you up. can take three hundred guys uh, <laughs> in a fight. Be oh, in a well, fight. except for he's off guys right now. So I'm gonna say, it would take, can you take three hundred? Take guys? a week or two. <laughs> well they're all trying to pour into that really small gap there at the same yeah. time and like you're just trying your best to yeah oh, the no, hella spawn at the same time yeah 300 are all damn. pushing into the yeah the little <laughs> thin area there all at once damn yeah we're damn. gonna have to call it thermopylae <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well did that even yeah. actually happen it's debatable it's debatable the numbers are debatable. The the fact that the battle actually took place, I I think is is a pretty canonical. In the canon of life. Yeah. Well, a history historically <laughs> canonical. Yeah, but the numbers, you know, like the the Persians claim to have, you know, like millions and millions of of people uh, in their armies, and it's kind of suggested that they might have exaggerated. By like a a factor of ten, maybe. So maybe they had more like three hundred thousand. Yeah, well, that makes sense. That yeah, might as well tell people that. Yeah, yeah, especially <laughs> when you're going around saying that you're like a living god king. Yeah, right. Yeah, dude, we got like I don't know, one, two, three million chilling. Yeah. Fucking yeah. <laughs> totally yeah, it's fuck rich your kid numbers. Up. Like rich kid numbers, they just think that their fucking parents, uh, like yeah. bank, just has endless zeros, so they yeah. can just say whatever number. Yeah, that's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, that shit is. Uh, you know, we've talked about it before on the podcast about. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> the <laughs> hard times <laughs> make hard men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> Finish it. Was it hard times make soft make men? Make soft men. Soft oh, men no, no. make hard men hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> soft men make hard times hard times make hard men make hard men, men hard make <laughs> soft times make yeah make hard men make hard of men yes, yes. <laughs> oh dude talk about a tongue twister <laughs> yeah no but like if you're born into opulence you know like uh your whole worldview is going to be altered if you don't know what like scarcity or poverty is and like your your frame of 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 struggle of what it is to survive yeah. is so different than everybody else. Now in California I met this one guy that his he said his parents were like the tomato barons of California and they were like like insanely like rich. El Monte? Like hundreds of millions of dollars rich. I have no idea. Romas. Yeah. But Anyways, yeah, they made their fortune on tomatoes, but yeah, he, well, the funny thing is we were at a pizza place and they brought an extra pizza for us. And they're like, All right, is your name whatever? And they said another name and we we're like, yep, that's us. So we <laughs> took that pizza and we left. <laughs> He's like, fuck yeah, I'm stupid, filthy rich. Anyways, let me mooch off this free pizza real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, it was his idea. But then, he just feels like the world's his oyster. Like he'll yeah. just take anything he wants. Yeah, but then we took it home to his parents. We just took it out of the pan and put it in the to go thing. But they saw that he had brought home leftover pizza and they threw it away. They're like, and they left him a voicemail. They're like, why would you bring home leftover pizza? We've never given you any leftover food in your whole life. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. No leftovers? Yeah. Like, don't they know, like, sometimes the marination, it's better once it cools down and you reheat it. <laughs> like, there is a marriage of flavor. This is scientific <laughs> shit. You can ask Alton Brown about this, dude. Like, you, can, he'll break it down for you. Yeah. He, yeah, dude. Like, this, there is a science to no, that. I agree. <laughs> yeah, they just don't like flavor. Like, you don't like leftovers? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I live off of, I think. Oh, yeah, next day spaghetti hits totally different, dude. That shit is bomb. Leftover mac and cheese, dude? Nah. Yes. Mac and cheese is one of the only things that's <laughs> not good leftover. It dries nah. out and becomes like a totally different well, constitution. I mean, nah, mac and cheese, after it sets up, it's yeah, like... But you can add a little milk and cheese. Yeah. You could sauce make it, it up. Good again. But are you are now are you talking are you doing that? Are you saucing it up? Or are you just eating that dry mac just like oh, I put it in the container. It's good. Yeah, put it in the container, take it out of the just container. Just eating those dry Microw cheesy. No, I microwave it. Microwave kind of, you know, moistens it up a little bit yeah, and yeah. go to town. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> leftover mac and cheese is like a leftover top ramen. Like you don't eat their leftover top ramen. No, you finish it or you throw it away. You don't li leftover mac and cheese is a throwaway item. I've no. never kept no. I refuse. I agree with the top ramen. Unless you put chili in it, then it becomes a different thing. Now it has some constitution and it's not just dry fucking depressing noodles. Right. With cheese sauce. Is it actual cheese? Like what is cheese sauce? In the noodle, yeah, like it also depends on how you're making your mac and cheese. Man, I've had some, I've had some like straight up food bank mac and cheese that it was Dude, questionable. Like my it's, mom's mac and cheese growing up was the dankest of dankest of mac and cheese I've ever eaten. Okay, in my life. no, but this is casserole. This <laughs> yeah, is they like, were casserole. Exactly. <laughs> now she's like taking it, making it from scratch, not yeah. out of the oh, box. Yeah. None of this uh, shit came. Once out my of mom it. got an instant pot, the mac and cheese game leveled the fuck up. Nice. <laughs> It was great. Yeah. And that leftover mac and cheese. See, now that mm -hmm. is a totally different thing than like out of the box mac right. and cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, I will still fuck up some craft mac and cheese leftovers. I know. <laughs> yeah. With a side of breakfast sushi. Yeah. yeah fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, we found out here, I found it on Quora. Um, so this guy, so. Sorajit Das, 
uh, says, as of my last knowledge updated in September 2021, the specific recipe for the ch- uh, cheese sauce I- is a proprietary secret. <laughs> However, the cheese sauce typically contains a combination of powdered cheese, often cheddar, uh, whey, milk, solids, salt, and other flavorings to create the creamy and cheesy sauce that is a key component of the dish. The dish. So it's a kind of cheese. Like it's, you know. It's cheese derivative. Well, no, they like break it down cheese into its constituent like parts. Pr- proprietary and then, proprietary cheese. Yeah, and then recombine <laughs> it. Yeah, it's called processed cheese. It's been processed, broke down into its individual components, and then reconstituted into a paste for you to serve to your children. <laughs> yes. Feast up. It's delicious. No, what's that dude you were just talking about that lives close to here on TikTok? Like he goes through all the brands and oh, the stores. I don't know his name. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Yeah, but he goes through all the brands, like all the chip aisle, and he'll tell you like what companies they're from and like who the big companies or the local companies and like who to support. But no, he's fucking cool. Yeah, he's local and does his research. Is that guy hate Nesquik? Um, is he probably. is he in on the hate for Nesquik? Oh yeah, yeah, like the whole yeah, all the corporate mm-hmm. stuff. He breaks it down like, and he um, he'll like color the the aisle and and then like color code it, and you can see like all the brands that are owned by what companies and the conglomerates and fucking and how Kellogg like and all Post. of them. It's like three companies. Yeah, like BlackRock is like a huge one and mainly, like, but then there's like a couple small. Businesses. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I can't. Oh, here he is. Um, cancel this clothing company. Is uh... yeah, that's uh, the his shit on here. Oh, he even dives deep into like the elites. Oh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, was, yeah, he, it's super fucking interesting. But he has a bunch of fucking um, videos where he, like, breaks down brands, who owns them, and then there's, like, the ones that you think that are owned, like, family-owned companies, you know, but really, like, Johnson & Johnson is technically a family-owned company, but they're also a large conglomerate, and, like, the overlap between... Yeah, because ultimately it is... um. I don't know, vampiric, right? Like you have businesses, you've heard the term hostile takeover, right? Do you know what that means? What What's your understanding of a hostile takeover? Nesquik did one with that fucking little village, didn't they? Where they, like the, the whole company kind of moved in and is draining all the resources out and has like like political control over the region, basically. Yeah. They've, it's like a military has been installed in there from an occupying country, essentially. But it's a corporation. Corporation. It's coming over to take their resources. Yes. Yeah, like with the, um, what was it, the Dole uh, uh, down, the whole like uh, Banana Republic situation where they come in, they upset the whole economy, of the local economy, they gain a monopoly on the production of the farming land and all that shit, and then they ship it out of their country, right? And then the price for everything locally gets inflated, yeah, yeah. And then people can't afford. And there's no fucking work. It totally undermines their whole fucking economy. It's yeah. come, Mister Dallyman, Dally me banana. No, I heard they recently like, come that and me one go home. Yeah, a lot of the Mexicans were complaining about all the tourism because it was skyrocketing their prices. Like yeah. all the locals there that have nothing to do with the tourism. Hmm. Oregoners be like, yeah, yeah, no, but that shit's real, dude. Like, you can disturb a fucking an economy and an ecosystem and displace people, you know, from it. And then, like, what? What's the accountability? What they're maybe fined, right? Like the Koch brothers. Like you're aware of the Koch brothers, right? Devious, yes. bro. They're fucking straight devious. Now, are they or are they just operating on the like capitalist imperative, right, of like this infinite growth paradigm and they're just going to consume or their companies? Because it's like uh, uh, a corporation is like 
a fucking android or like a like cyborg. A it's but, like a gray goo type beat. But it's just on paper. It's like an analog robot. Yeah. It, it's like a, a total fucking artificial. It exists legally. Yeah. And it is an artificial thing and it has guidelines and it has these, these imperatives. Right. Right. Articles There's a profit of incorporation. Motive. Yeah. All of this shit. And the uh, three heads. And so there's never enough for it. And so it just cons- can just continues to consume and consume and consume. Do you know what gray goo is? Uh, no. Uh, so yeah. gray, yeah, I do. do. Yeah, you want to explain the gray goo hypothesis? Yeah, at least what I know of it, it's when like the the robots make like minuscule quantum robots, and they just kind of consume everything into gray goo. Is that correct? That's the concept. Is basically like. Uh, you, if you create a robot that will um, be tasked to do something, like create paper. Oh, or the paperclip example. Paper clips yeah, or and it'll completely optimize. Paper or, or even to create more of it, it'll it'll make it, it'll go, okay, well, to make the most amount of paper, it's like AI, I think is the mm-hmm. concept. It's like, well, make a bunch of mini drones, and then we go farm all the trees for you know, so we can make paper, yeah. and then we create more drones. And then we are like, oh, we ran out of you know shit here, and so we have to go find new planets. And then it called on. It has the no self preservation imperative at it's all. It's just duplicating itself to do something. Yeah, yeah infinitely <laughs> forever. Interesting. And that's what a company does. Yeah, yeah. It just expands and it expands, and they look for expansion every year, no matter how much money the company is making. They just still look for expansion every year. What's the what do they call it? The chelate, <laughs> the um, the acid. What is it called? Yeah. The finest. Um, chelate. Yeah. Hum- humic? humic acid. Humic acid. Um, so it, it's kind of like that. Like humic acid is the finest that uh, organic. The last form of decomposition. Yeah, of organic matter. And, it, and it's ready to intake by fungus or plants. Yeah, whatever. but that's essentially like the the uh, the the like a what do they call it? The digestive cycle or whatever uh, in the forest. Yeah, that's like the last state like what everything gets broken down into that and that would be like the gray goo right it's readily everything's readily available in there yeah it's uh everything's in the goo yeah yeah <laughs> oh it's like uh ragu it's all in there <laughs> is it ragu or prego it's prego that's the right one it's prego is the right one yeah yeah it's all in there that shit was that was so their fucking... slogan yeah, Prego. It's all in there. Yeah, I don't remember that one. It's uh, it's uh, <laughs> and it's funny Mandela that Prego effect. is, and it's funny that Prego is like a, a euphemism for pregnant. Right? Yeah. Why? Wait a second. Our two brain main brands are Prego and Rag Goo. Rag Goo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, and the red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ragu. Yeah. No, I yeah, there was a whole deal with that because there was a fucking guy in a safety meeting who was like, yeah, it's what all in there. What kind of safety meeting? It's all in there, like ragu. And I was like, yeah, yeah. that's the like, wrong pasta sauce. Like <laughs> used all the ingredients we told you, right? It's all in there. No, 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 what? no. That's so perfect. imagine there's a company meeting, <laughs> right? And we're we're doing this whole fucking company meeting. There's a, the spokesperson that the company's hired to come and perform <laughs> this. I think it was CPR and safety and the, all this shit. So he keeps using this fucking analogy for the, for ragu. And Ryan's over here just autistic as fuck. <laughs> he's hung up on it. He's like, no, no, no. He, he looks it up. He's immediately going over it. And as soon as he finds it, he's like. He's like, uh, hey, uh, it's actually Prego. Yeah, you're. I googled it. You're wrong. Like he yells that out across in front of everybody in in the fucking company meeting to like interrupt this guy to tell him. He's like, no, you're you're wrong. I googled it. It, it was fucking hysterical. It was driving Bro, me I almost, crazy. I almost passed out because I couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. It was insanity, dude. Like I had to excuse myself. It was it was game over. Bro, like I'm okay. barely, I okay. can barely. Hold even. on. <laughs> yeah. In my defense, <laughs> tell me was <what> fucking insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He but- was the most like. He talked like <laughs> he's like I've done all the coolest shit known to mankind, and I'm basically like a fucking war hero. And you're gonna sit here and now listen to me tell you about fucking safety or whatever. 
He's like a guy that never took karate ever in his life and then opened a dojo and then just like bought trophies and like all these black <laughs> oh, and like a black belt. That's then, a perfect <laughs> analogy. You remember yeah. fucking Taekwon Doug from Taekwon uh, Douglas? <laughs> that's that guy. That's that guy. 100%. Have you Fuck seen it. Disjointed at all? Have you watched Disjointed? Okay, oh. there's two things I need you to possibly Disjointed. It's uh, great. look oh, up. I love it. Uh, first of all, just fact check me and make sure that the fuck it. Just look up. It's all in there. Prego. That'd be funny if it was Ragu. <laughs> Prego. It's in there. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the fucking. 1984 ad okay. for Prego. It's in there. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in, in there. there. Regardless, he kept saying that shit and he's like, it's like Ragu. Yeah. It's in there. I'm like, that's not. That's the fucking Prego <laughs> saying. And he used. The first time he said the reference, I was like, fuck it. I'll forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> he legitimately, like, it was like his go to. the whole thing around. No, him. no, legitimately. Like, he's like, he was like explaining that they're apt to access all this stuff. He's like, look, it's, it's in, in there. there. It's like Ragu. He's like, oh, <laughs> if you're wondering about this, he's like, guess what? It's like Ragu. It's in there. And he just kept, like, it was like his fucking go to. He kept shit. saying <laughs> it. And it was driving me. Yeah. That's stupid. fucking insane. The first time I was like, all right. He's he's wrong, but then the, he kept saying it. So I'm like, am I wrong? I'm doing I'm doing the same thing right now. Where I had you look it up because I'm like, am I wrong? Yeah. Am I the stupid one? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. You're the dummy. <laughs> and oh, so dude. I felt the need to raise my hand and be like, hey, you know you're fucking wrong, right? <laughs> Just the timing of it was so inappropriate. It was the wildest shit ever, and it was hysterical. Is he's in the middle of talking about? Because then the guy's like, sitting there. He's like, oh, 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 it is. He's like, are you sure? And he's like up there trying to maintain his dignity while he just fucking put him on a blast I'm in like, front nah, of a Googled corporation it. of employees there that he's there to instruct and train on this fucking. Uh, he's uh, like, dude. are you sure? And I'm like, nah, I Googled it. I got it right here on my phone. He's like, I yeah, I Googled it. Right it. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm like, bro. Just silence in the, the room tact, aside from this. The so tact funny. in which, yeah, dude. Yeah, except for us uh, just erupting in laughter. I did. I mean, I did totally like. Full on raise my hand like teacher. And no. he called him, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, Yeah, he's like, um, yeah, about you, that. I was like, uh, you know, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, you keep saying I I I believe how I phrased it, I was like, You keep saying it's in there, like ragu. And he was like, Yeah. And I was like, That's from Prego. And he was like, Is it? And I was like, Yeah. And he was like, Are you sure? I was like, I Googled it. It's right. I got it. <laughs> you no, know, that's not what he said. You said I Googled it. You're wrong. <laughs> Verbatim. That was the funniest part about it. He's like, yeah, I Googled it. You're wrong. The, uh, <laughs> and what's funny is there's actually a John Spencer uh. Blues Explosion song where he says it's in there like ragu. So when Ryan initially brought this up 75 episodes ago or whatever. Oh, really? Um, yeah, we talked about this years ago, oh. right? Like like when back when it was first beginning or something like that. Um, it, when he first brought this up, I was like, wait, is it? It's in there? Like, like prego, it's in there? And it was. And so I also thought that it was ragu because I'd heard that John Spencer Blues Explosion song. Mm, yeah. Who the fuck is that? Uh, you know Bell Bottoms? Bell Bottoms. Ba -ba it's a song in Baby ba -ba Driver. Bon, bon, ba -ba it's you know? the opening driving scene in Baby yeah. Driver. It's no. played to bell bottoms. It's a mm. fucking fantastic yeah, by the song. Same, in it's that. in there like ragu. It's not who you know, but who knows you. Like dog, chicken, penguin, and then get a guitar riff. That's how, that's the the John Spencer Blue Explosion for you. Well, I'm so this curious is a, where it is if it's in there. Yeah. Well, it's prego. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you have to point when you say? It's I think there. it is referring to <laughs> jizz, right? Rag it's goo. in there. Yeah, no, prego. Rag goo is in there. Rag goo. Mm. There's rag goo in prego. Yeah, but that's menstrual, right? <laughs> no. You, Where prego, I'm you put the jizz on a in, rag joke. You put the and so jizz there's rag goo in the prego. In the pussy. You put the jizz in the pussy. Right. Right? You're yeah. prego from all the rag goo. Yeah, Justin's uh, done this before. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is how much it drove me fucking insane, is I had to redo the Google fucking search to be like, I'm right, right? <laughs> you're still going, you're still doubting yourself. You're like, no, 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 we, we resolved this, but. I, yeah, no, exactly. So Ragu's slogan is cook like a mother, and Prego's is 
it's in there. So anyhow, he is wrong. I'm right. That's all that matters. But where, and if it's in there, woo! you're gonna get Prego, and where, then you can it's cook funny like a mother. Prego is not the one who's cooking like but a mother. Where, yeah. where is there though? Who owns both of the companies? If they're owned by the same conglomerate, <laughs> this guy will know. The fucking uh, <laughs> oh, I bet they're probably owned by the same people. It, yeah, it's probably right. the same fucking sauce. Who knows? Yeah. But god damn it, yeah, no, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> No, like he couldn't. He was like, it was like that fucking. <laughs> it's one of those victories where only I'm celebrating. I'm like, you're wrong. Woo! I'm right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And and no Justin. one else is celebrating. I was laughing. He wasn't. Oh, celebrating. It was. Yeah. And then it, the lady that was trying to fucking like moderate the thing is yeah, like. I'm sure Amy like fucking loved me at that, that point. From, oh, I know. Yeah. You know the one. It. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Dude. So funny. It was like Ron Burgundy when he was like, black, uh, black. He's like, I have to say it or I'm going to pass out. That's and how I, was like, I felt. Yeah, he's like sitting here literally just building up. He's like, oh, my God. I, I couldn't I couldn't let it slide. He said it fucking four times. Did you I try to count down or like do any kind of like, like no, no, don't do it. No, no, no. And then yes, every, t- every time he said it. The first time he said it, I was like, all right. Then I had to fact check myself. Then he used it the second time. He used it the second time while I was in the middle of me Did fact Did you fact check. check him every time? He said, you're like, hold on now. That's a- no, well, he used, it the sec- <laughs> he used it the second time while I was fact checking it. So it reinforced. I'm like, mm. no, 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 no. I, fuck, it's right. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not right here. <laughs> Uh, I the, hate the, I hate and then I just too, I just though. sat on it. I just sat on it. It was like, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Then he used it the third time, and it was like, can't fucking goddamn it. And then <laughs> but, by the fourth time, I was like, I have to fucking. This is driving me fucking. Can't do it. We should call this episode. It's in there like ragu. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, <laughs> It, it, but we got our CPR off. certifications, yep. and um, he nice. still gave me the certification. Yeah, it was awesome. It was good. It was cool. But. Why? That's such a dumb saying. Or he was training you for CPR. I uh, might. Oh no, I'm conflating two separate things. Oh. Yeah, that that was an Asian guy who taught us the no, CPR. No, I don't even oh. know what that guy. He might have no, been the dash. Was, uh, was he the dash? No, 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 no. What's the fucking app? Oh, you might have to blank out. Okay, but, but this is also why I was losing my fucking mind because they were making us use this stupid goddamn app to fucking clock in and out every day for work. We had an app. It worked great. It was four buttons. You click the fucking buttons, in, out, lunch, in, lunch, out. Very simple, very self-explanatory. Fuck a retard could figure it out. Like right? making toast. Yeah. You go, you grab the bread, you put it in the toaster, you fucking turn it on or you yeah. push it down. Yeah. Whatever what if kind I of- brought a retard to try the app, you think? He'd no. Make, he'd, right. No, he'd make it work. He yeah. make it work somehow about the reverse uh, engineering. Like, yeah, it just his brain's wired that way. So uh, yeah. Then no. they brought in this new fucking app, where this guy has got to come in to teach us how to use it. Yeah. Again, you don't need a fucking guy to come in and teach you how to use a four button app. And the whole time he's trying to tell us like, listen, this app is fucking dope. And yeah. we're like, he's like, it doesn't it's in sound- there. It's like ragu. It's in there. <laughs> They're like, the whole it time. doesn't sound like it. And it's like, it's got all the features, all the features you want, all the unnecessary bullshit that you don't want to do on the job that now you have to do because we're giving you this stupid no, fucking app. All it app. was was how the you employer can track your every there. footstep. That was all yeah. that it was. It was like, yeah, and we're tracking everything you do. And yeah. that, that was essentially what they the ended the meeting the with like, oh, yeah, by the way, you guys are getting dash cams. And that's when we looked at each other. We're like, we're fired. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> Which oh, one of you were dude. right? Yep. <laughs> well, because they, they they had already kicked him off beforehand. They gave him the boot before. Well, the- I actually I got I hurt my back and was out uh, yeah. on leave, and then they gave me a fucking like modified. I got a modified work release, and they were like, Yeah, we don't have any jobs for that. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Like seriously, they're like, "Oh, you yeah. hurt your back on the job? Yeah, why don't you fuck off?" They gave him the most unceremonious yeah. fuck off, and so yeah. I was like, "Well, um, I can't it. wait till we're bigger than them." No, Smoking so he went. No, like right literally. So he just went and like chain smoked joints at the fucking Safeway parking lot yeah. for like eight hours a day for a week, and they're like, "Uh, hey, bud, yeah, uh, we're gonna need you to come to the office. Uh, we gotta talk to you about something." And the manager Listen, literally is like, "I'm pretty sure do- you know what we're gonna talk to you about." And he's like. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just about face and walk out. At no, that point. <laughs> no, I made him say it because I wanted to know what explanation he was going to use. So I was like, I'm not entirely. Sh- I have some guesses, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have some educated guesses of what it might. And then he, be, and then he, he phrased it. it he phrased it as, "We have some evidence that you were off site during work hours," and I was like, ah. That's how they're going to phrase it. You're like, nah, yep. man, I was out of sight on work hours. <laughs> I was actually off planet for a while. Yeah, I, not only was I off site, I was out of sight and off planet. The only thing I said was, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, so you understand? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, telepathic communication. You're yeah. like, say less. <laughs> yeah. Some reason they don't want to hire us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For some reason they have issues. <laughs> yeah. I think it's personal. I think it is their personal problem. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I did my job. I I worked myself out of a job. It's why I was able to sit in a Safeway parking lot for multiple hours is because I did the fucking thing. And yeah. I still wanted to get paid. And so I didn't want to just fucking sit around and do, you know. Yeah. I didn't want to not be getting paid. Uh, it'd be a whole lot cooler if those bitches weren't such fags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all let them know. <laughs> yeah. That was for you, sir. Uh, a tip of the hat. No. Inside He's writing down, down editing. Yeah. Bag. Inside. So, In, dude. Now I said it again. He's got to write another I one. I thought, literally, <laughs> if. No, check it out. I don't censor that one. I probably should, no. though. No, check I? it out. No, no check I, this I shit out. I think it can tell. Dude, if I start a cider company, I can just use my first name as the name of the cider company. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Justin. Justin yeah. Cider. Justin Cider. Yeah, it's like Dixon Cider. Yeah. yeah. Dixon Cider. Yeah, Justin but Cider. Justin. And it rides, right? You'd sip that, right? Yeah. It's like Josh wine. Yeah, you you put some <laughs> Justin cider in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Gender fluid. <laughs> That'd have to be one of our one of our flavors. <laughs> Would have to be gender fluid. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh. Uh. There you uh, make it mixed berry flavor, so it looks like the flag. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I like it. I'm there. I'm That's with good it. marketing. Full <laughs> on, dude. Yes. Dude, I, wait a second. Wait a second. If they made a company that sells f- like fruit drinks that are all just the different f- like flags, pride flags. Would that sell or would that be like everyone would be like that's too on the nose that you're clearly just appealing well, to like we won't know no, if we like, don't try. <laughs> yeah. Put this in your mouth. It's hella gay. Yeah. Right. No, there's a bit on Hive Mind where they were like, they should make a Mick gay. You know, like and, and it would be right. just like a, a, like a cunty McDonald's. little cheeseburger, right? Yeah. And like what, you, what you, would be a gay cheeseburger? It's a cunty little cheeseburger. Well you know? what what or like how would you make a I don't know. They they did not explore <laughs> you that. Just, too you much, just make you put a dick on it and then you put it in somebody's ass <laughs> oh. with the dick. I was thinking it, the just penis make is the, the hamburger patty injector. of the shape of a dick. If you just or made the rainbow. hamburger patty the shape of a dick. Yeah, but a dick is more funny. There's gay women though. They still use dildos. What? They that, still uh, use that, dicks. All the gays like penis, okay? <laughs> They can lie all they the want. The other ones are lesbians, all right? Yeah. I hate to tell you this. They're the ones that made all the fucking distinctions. <laughs> yeah. Don't hate me for playing by their rules. But yeah, you couldn't like make a product like that, right? It'd be super on the nose and everybody would be like, eh. Yeah. I mean. What is it? The You let me penetrate you. Yeah. You let me violate you. Yeah. Beat me. Yeah. I've, I've broke apart my insides. Not your inside. Yeah. I think that was his butt. Yeah. The jar video. The jar you know, video, dude. <laughs> Do you know uh, Nine Inch Nails at all? Yeah. Pretty Hate Machine? Uh, you familiar uh, with that album? No, I haven't like gone homework. through. No, homework. homework. For, no, I, I beginning know to end. No, no. But that album, that's a fucking front to back album. It, it'll, yeah. yeah. Dude, you'll get no, it. No, when they used to release albums that were all good. Mm-hmm. And, and that used to be part and of it was a story yeah. from start to finish. Yeah, there yeah. was like an art to like a cohesive fucking 
album that was intentionally, you, you know, produced. That it, it it had that, you know, where it, it was the, in there. Yeah, Ooh. dude, it was like ragu, man. It was yeah. in there, dude. It had it all, <laughs> dude. <laughs> it probably is irrational as fuck how much that fucked my brain up. Like, I could not, I wouldn't have, if I hadn't told him he was wrong, I probably wouldn't have slept that night just right. constantly thinking about it. No, I can't You'd believe be like, Hey, Amy, what's that guy's number? <laughs> Yeah. Like, I got I gotta call him, dude. I just like calling Amy in the middle of the yeah. night. It's one o'clock. He's just like, "Hey, Amy, wake up!" You're sending her messages, just blowing her shit up. <laughs> I need to talk. I can't sleep. Listen, it's a problem. <laughs> Fatal insomnia. Oh yeah, we god! We really dad. need to hire the ragu guy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the ragu guy. <laughs> oh, dude. So, yeah, he would have made a better ragu spokesman than anything. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even know their fucking slogan. It's fucking in there. Yeah. You want a fucking piece of mushroom? <laughs> Fuck. It's in this shit. Oh, dude. So, uh, on some more like relevant shit of like <laughs> current affairs. Uh, you telling me fucking Pregu isn't Prego isn't fucking relevant? <laughs> I don't know, but dude, uh dude, this fucking uh Kendrick Lamar and Drake shit's popping off, bro. It's so funny. And uh, apparently Kendrick Lamar released all of his music. So we can listen to Kendrick Lamar on the motherfucking podcast without any penalties. Uh, yes, we can in a second once I get that set up. Yeah, and uh, and we can uh, listen to his new diss track against Drake. Drake, ben, you're whack. <laughs> I'm not trying to yeah. get people mad at me, but... Neither of those people have I been too stoked with their music. Kendrick is dope. Drake. Yeah. Yeah. No. Man, he, no. I'll have to hear something to convince me. What's uh Kendrick's real uh, name though? It's like Duckworth or something like that. I'd have rocked the fuck out of Duckworth. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar Duckworth. Duckworth. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Bro, come on. Dude, I love DuckTales. Yeah. <laughs> Would have gave you a hella good chance for quack, a mascot. Quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I quack, quack, quack back. Oh, shit. Uh, do you I guys remember that? The track. What? The younger fellas. The quack, 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 Mr. Ducksworth. Mm-hmm. No. What is it you from? You don't remember that? Those what? from uh, the Mighty Ducks. The original one when the guy was talking to his boss. Right. Ambulance. <laughs> Ambulance. <Okay. laughs> Real quick. Whoa, Ambul- Black Betty. <laughs> Ambulance. Black Betty had a child. Ambulance. Okay. The damn thing went wild. Ambulance. All right. Uh, let's just set all this up here. Ambulance. Not be a recordable track. I don't know why it's. Showing as a recordable track. It's pissing me off, man. Because mm. <laughs> you're trying to mix this shit, shit right now? Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to line this shit up here. There we go. All right. Oh, volume, pitch. Go. So this is the new Kendrick Lamar diss track from two days ago called Not Like Us. Uh, I can't be. We're going to let it ride? There's play. like six There's like six Kendrick Lamar diss tracks. This is the newest this one. This is the newest one, yeah. Okay. Yesterday. And now it's fucked up again because I tried to move it because we started talking. Fuck, idiot. There we go. Uh, Try it again. Oh, there. It's all up. There. We're on a modified setup today. Yep. Very, very modified setup. Technical difficulties. (laughs) All right. So we ready for this shit? Are we queued up? <laughs> the amber lamps line, <laughs> bro. This Kendrick, yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. (laughs) 
Are they going to drop a collabo? Is that what this is building to? Is like Kendrick and Drake going to drop a collabo? That would be gay as fuck. <laughs> I th I honestly I'm you a missed, little disappointed. You the main line there, the the trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor line. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What? It's really what? not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Hold yeah. on. Why do they have beef? I have no idea. Nor do I actually care. But now because they interested. was at the barbecue. <laughs> what barbecue? Bird bitches, but fairy fairy therian, right? <laughs> but nobody knows. All right, good talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I haven't. The thing is, I don't know a lot of the context for this, <laughs> so a lot of the lines are going over my head right now. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be harder. God damn it, Kendrick! I thought it was gonna be way harder. It's kind yeah, of soft. Kind of shit beat. <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to lie. It's kind of soft. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, if the beat's bad. I uh, immediately I like the lose breakdown interest. part of the beat. Yeah. Like no, the I like mm. when it goes into full effect. Yeah. But then it just keeps repeating itself. This shit. The and yeah, it needs to switch it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Crody is? Crody's Drake's dog's name? Uh, and it's like bro, it's like bro, but Canadian. He doesn't uh. sound scary enough to do a diss track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the, oh, I have the. Here we go. Yeah. If I heard. There's him, more. This is the. This is. I. It, yeah, I didn't pause or like replay anything. It's just he just keeps going. Yeah, if I heard his voice, I wouldn't run for my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, you seem like a very nice gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not threatened at all. <laughs> not threatened at all. Like, what are you, a hall monitor at a high school, dude? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, he recorded that in a closet, some fucking high school hall <laughs> Hall closet, like, nah. I was, once he start, once he like dropped two diss tracks in a day, it was like, what are, what are we, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we fucking now? Nah. Yeah, I think Ice Cube wins all diss tracks. Oh, with no Vaseline. Yeah, is that uh -huh. is that the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've never listened to any of Drake's rebuttals. What was Drake's? Uh, last... I never listened to any of Drake's music, bro. What's? Oh, we probably outside. can't play Drake, huh? No. Not even no, his rebuttal. I, it's not even official release. No, I couldn't. Tell is it you an a official song release? Drake has ever made. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even is it an <laughs> official Gadolite. release? It's is there licensing YouTube, on it? If it's That's another why. YouTube video at all, we can't do it. Uh, like if someone uploads no a gaming it. video playing Minecraft, then that's still dodgy. There doesn't have to be a label backing it or anything. Now how do people do the play with me videos? The AO, the what? The play that with me pause? videos. Let's play. Oh, let's play videos. <laughs> no, I'm saying if they if someone uploads a Minecraft video and we decide to watch it on stream, that can get flagged too. It's not like a, it's not just a label backing. This is wild. YouTube man. checks against all vi your video against all videos that are on. So the you platform. can't even do the. But I watch those videos all the time. 
of people do doing like reaction videos of other people's content. Yeah, but then they can put out a sync. They can put out a, a reaction in in like twenty five minutes, and they can upload a hundred of them a day if they want. You know, it's a different thing. Huh? Like they have like there's a different. It's a different strategy of you just put a fucking million videos out and it guaranteed to you know hook on at some point. Well, not guaranteed. Not everyone succeeds, but. When you do a reaction video like that, it gets claimed all the time. Following. We well, but. I'm just I'm just saying that God has abandoned this mortal plan <laughs> has left us with nothing. <laughs> because we can't watch Except Minecraft. Except for video. eternal existential Actually, dread. Actually, he's saving us from listening to Drake on yeah. the podcast. No. <laughs> um, do you yeah. know any Drake songs? God's plan. That's it. Is and that the Reebok song? Don't look like at a me. sprained ankle. I ain't. That's the only line I know from Drake is like a sprained ankle. I ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> well, do you do you know the? Uh, um, That's the only line of say, Drake. Do you love me. I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. That's God's plan. That's God's plan. That's yeah. that. You don't remember that one? I never listen. I don't listen to Drake. The, the I listen to rap music. Yeah. The, yeah. The, um, I listen to dope ass fucking rap <laughs> bars. You said that sprained ankle line, and that reminded me of the Jay Z line where he says, uh, Not only am I fly, so I, I am fucking not you. playing. Don't. Playing. Uh, yeah. And it's like a. Playing. Yeah. Play. Guess uh, who else I don't listen to? You don't to? listen to Jay Z? Nah. No. Never been a fan. Yeah. I had friends that would do uh, the, the Blueprint he had album. Yeah, a few songs, but yeah, no, nah. no, I was never a big fan of Jay Z either. Empire State, I listened to it all. I like trust Eminem. Me, I've just phenomenal. never really been impressed ever of anything. I, he can he he can deliver any line. He will mm. say the dumbest thing you've ever heard in your damn life, but it will come across so well because he will just deliver that shit. Like that line I just said, the plane line. He actually lands it. Like it actually hits. <laughs> like 9 <laughs> 11. <laughs> no, they didn't land in 9 yeah. 11. <laughs> but it hits. <laughs> it did hit. Yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> that was good. Hits like 9 11. Take her out in my <laughs> sailboat. That... I hit, but not on land like 9 yeah. 11. Mm -hmm. uh, that should be Prego's new motto. <laughs> What? It's like 9 11. It's like 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> Prego, this shit hits like 9 11, N word. Mmm, N word. This shit hits like 9 11. They got like a, yeah, they need Do to you know 9 11 like a... is an N word? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Starts and ends of it. <laughs> yeah. Can't argue that there. <sighs> Yeah, we're spinning objective facts on the podcast today. <laughs> yeah. You can't truthers. argue with us. Yeah, yeah we're truthers yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, we just start wants... saying true things about 9 11. It took place on September 11th, 2001. We're 9 11 truthers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just facts. <laughs> just saying facts. The, co the coordinates. Both of the two world, world truth Located. centers, as well as the, yeah. the Pentagon, were targets of a. Of yeah. <laughs> Truther. <laughs> truthers. Oh, dude. That's fucking stupid funny. I, I, uh, yeah. Oh, what else is happening? <laughs> doodle's done. That's what's happening. Oh, oh nice. Oh, Bam, there's Dude, the doodle camera. dude did another doodle, dude. Doodle. Doodle. Dude, that's a dope doodle. Doodle. Nice. Doodles. Dude. Dude, the doodle dude did another doodle, dude. <laughs> dude. It's a doodled loop. Doodled another. No, he or, didn't. Sorry. Uh, doodled another doodle. Did another did, doodle. Did another doodle. Dude. The doodle dude did another this doodle, so dude. so damn yeah. dumb. <laughs> so yeah. damn dude. dumb. But yeah. not a diddy. Dude, this is so damn dumb. Mm-hmm. What do you think diddy's doing right now? Probably diddling well, dudes. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> the question is, uh, who? Yeah, and the question Yeah, <laughs> not what, but who. <laughs> and maybe the other W's. Where, George where when, and why? <laughs> the other uh, W's. <laughs> w. <laughs> yeah, he's probably fucking George W in the ass. <laughs> uh, it's is, in he's there. Still alive? Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Yeah. The younger one. Yeah. yeah. Not the older one. Yeah, you know right. W's uh, frat name was Ragu because <laughs> he was in there. <laughs>
Okay, that's a good one. We, we, it took us a lot of workshopping. It took us a lot of workshopping, but we got there. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude, we're fucking winning. We're killing it at life. Yeah. Dude, it's all looking up. We're winning. No, we are literally at this point. We're at this crossroads, bro, where it's about to explode, and we're going to experience all in success. Our faces. Yeah, dude, but yeah. I feel like we're legitimately about to experience the success that we've been fucking working for, and like it's gonna explode. Yes, it feels like that. No, take a no, sit. Come on. Hey, sit on Brennan's lap immediately. What are you doing? Get yeah. back here. He's fully erect. Yeah. Don't waste a good boner. <laughs> three don't waste three quarters. Boner. Don't waste a good boner. Oh, three. Qu- don't waste a good three quarters of a boner. Good half chub. <laughs> yeah, a good sub chub. A good semi. A good semi hemi. Yeah. That yeah, we a sub about chub or a semi hemi. A yeah. sub chub is yeah. also <laughs> what it's called when you get erect from sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, sub chub yeah. is also what it, what it, what I call it when all my boyfriends get a little bit excited. Yeah. <laughs> How many? No, because you only do you dom got? subs. You <laughs> dom subs. That's what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, they're all okay. subs. How many boyfriends? Do I didn't got? know you were a manager at a no, sandwich no, no. shop. None. So you don't do it. No. How long were you a manager at a sandwich shop? Uh. <laughs> 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 no, get it down, get it down, buddy, get it down. <laughs> Come on, everyone, ingest, ingest. Yeah, ingest your drugs. Yes. All right. Oh my God! It's sorry. Did it get in your nose? A little bit. Oh. A little bit in the back. I can smell it, but it's all good. It didn't. <laughs> Yeah, the didn't thing. get up in there. <laughs> I, yeah, I would like have broke so bad. It yeah, was you know, so fucking close. His grandma watched our show and was like, oh, he's on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma he, saw he the tell. podcast. Yeah, and she, well, because there was a point in time when I was younger, I was really fucked up on drugs and uh, mainly, uh, yeah, alcohol. And But I was experimenting with everything. I, I literally would just show up at the party and whatever they had, like, yeah, you, you it was blacked out. It was go time. Yeah, there were a lot of blackout <laughs> times. Yeah, um, but yeah, I was in recovery for seven years. I was clean and sober for like seven solid years. And um, yeah, my yeah. my <laughs> my, uh, my grandma uh, was like a sneaky dude. So here's the deal: my grandma got clean and sober because she did too much acid at a fucking uh, a swinger party that she went to, where they had uh, electric punch. And um, yeah, Wait, so she. So your grandma was banging a bunch of people. They went to a swinger party, and they it was an Wait, acid like, party. Who's they? Um, my my grandma, and I think at the time it wasn't my grandpa; it was um, my my aunt's grandpa. So like, uh, all right, her so next they're husband. They're going to bang each other and other people at a at a swinger That's party. Funny. Yeah, <laughs> and they and they did acid out of the punch bowl, and, and other people. Yeah, and so at the time, like, dude, this is a time where they had quaaludes and fucking uppers, and like, so she was like strung out on all these fucking pills. Yeah, at the time, like six guys on her. No, and but three guys. No, she took the she took the acid and it like totally cartwheeled her, and she went into like this, you know, the the fucking inward spiral, right? The introspective, hellacious introspective nightmare, and she just questioned all of her fucking life choices. And, uh, you know, the next day she decided that she was done. She quit smoking, drinking, fucking doing coke, partying, like fucking everything straight up, dude. And, uh, um, yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> she's, you'd have to ask she's her one right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's not a very modest person when it comes to that shit. So yeah. it would be hard for you to make my grandma blush. All right. Yeah, because she can take her I'll teeth out. You know what I'm saying? Me. Like she's had dentures for a long time. Y'all see if she can show me her tits. Yeah, I guarantee she gave a couple fellas the old slip and slide. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like your grandpa. Maybe I would get almost guarantee. I, you know, I think my grandma said she wasn't into that. She didn't really like penises. Like just the form factor kind of grossed her out. I think. Mm. Um, but yeah, but she wasn't into like sucking dick. So I guess it skipped a generation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with your mom. Wait, that's gonna be available. Good job. Write that down, bro. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh no, Is she free to check. <laughs> I she, messaged her. She must be must be working. Uh, so, context for the people. 
<laughs> yeah. Justin's mom just got out of prison <laughs> in Montana, but she's on what is it? Uh, work pre release, yeah, pre release. Uh, so she she got a housekeeping job and uh, she's been working pretty close to full time doing that. But um, yeah, <laughs> no, but my grandma never told anybody. And so when I got when I got clean and sober, she uh, fucking finally told me like she had been going to AA conventions for fucking years. Have conventions? Yeah. That sounds awful. Yeah. No. Well, my my buddy Mike, my comedian buddy Mike, he went and uh, did comedy at the one. So it's at How Ocean big Shores. Are those conventions. Well, imagine imagine this. Imagine that you have money that you didn't spend on drugs and booze, mm-hmm. and you didn't black out, and you remember every fun time that you had there. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds like you get to make a bunch of memories with people that are also re- able to remember the time that they're having. No, I had a blast when he took us to the NA meeting without telling us. Oh, dude. But I was also... High and drunk. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, that was the fucking. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, by the way, does your pack of papers still have any of the? Uh, it does. Thank you. By the way, this thing has come in fucking infinitely handy. It's a gimmicky thing, and I would never buy it. I would never buy this. This raw pack. It's actually super fucking dope and handy, and it has a little. It comes with its own attached twist tie, so you can't accidentally litter and fucking drop it's it. Josh somewhere. Kesselman from Raw fucking cares about shit he makes yeah. and he's dope. And That's it comes why. It, sponsor us, please. I fucking love oh, you. Oh, that would be dope. That would be huge if if that could happen I'll and we could just camera. be supplied. I did. I did. I looked directly at supply. this camera. The main no, camera Justin wasn't. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, Raw you know, but sponsor it's dope. us. Clip it comes that, with send the, it to Raw. Yeah, it comes with the crutch paper in it, and uh, dude, it's been fucking super. Handy. But yes. I would never buy this. See, it's a weird thing. Like I would, I would never do it because it's kind of a gimmicky thing. Yeah, but if but. it's the only pack of raw they're selling at the gas station, you buy it one time and go, oh, "Wow, this is actually super convenient." Well, because from the from the top shelf, they look like a normal fucking pack. So you go, "Yeah, give me the raw," and then the fucking Indian dude who barely understands English at the gas station goes, "This one," and you go, "Fuck yeah!" And then by the <laughs> time you get it, you realize, "Oh, this is not a normal pack of papers." You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then you figure it out. You're like, this is pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> and then you keep getting it. And that's how I figured out about them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's how come I learned about them. Yeah. Shoot, it was all by accident. <laughs> they didn't have the other ones that I actually went there to get. But then I'm like, damn, this shit right here pretty darn convenient. Has everything I need right yeah. in. It's all wrapped up. That's yeah. how I felt. Can you, <laughs> can you do a Kelton accent? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if I can pull that off right now. I, it's like a thing. No worries. Hard to. I gotta work on some voices that because uh, I I got some characters. I love I love doing voices. It shit is fucking fun. But I'm not. But I'm not good at doing like impersonations. I'm good at coming up with a, like. Uh, you're a, hilarious. A, yesterday. A, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Back yeah. me up, Kara. Yeah, back me up, Kara, right? Isn't that what he he introduced himself as N-word Jim, right? Like, hey, he's the best man at my wedding. Man, he's the best N-word I ever met. I mean, uh, he's the best brother of, of a friend could ever have. He's like, <laughs> this guy, he's like, it's not racist. He's like, he calls himself that. He lives he's up on N-word. N-word Jim, he, up on N-word Hill, up in N-word Town. Dude, That's it's, what they call themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Back bro. me up, Kara. <laughs> <laughs> it was that line that got you. Hey, Kara, back me up, Brad. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> She's just shaking her head. <laughs> One of our clients that we worked with, a rich guy. Yeah. Back me up. <laughs> <laughs> as the best fucking line just looking for any desperation like somebody save me from this shit yeah. <laughs> so i'm drowning here come on here so, throw me a line laughing. i was like what <laughs> <laughs> hey gear back me up uh dude, he has such a gristly voice you know like he, wait he said these things for real yeah. oh yes no, this, this is, is like not a, a bit a verb, <laughs> not except a bit. for the back me up care that i that <laughs> okay. was a personal yeah. like a little okay. flourish that i threw in there but <laughs> other than that it's not a bit <laughs> no. he sounds N-word like a man Jim who's been smoking N-word inside N-word of his house N-word for Hill fucking 50 in years. n-word town 
<laughs> yeah. Like he 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 sounds like he's smoking a cigarette through a stoma in his neck while he's <laughs> talking to you. Hey, <laughs> care. Hey, care. Hey, yeah, back me yeah. up on this one. He man. sounds like he's been smoking inside of his house for fucking as long as he's been alive because he has. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's I an would extremely say extremely nice ever... house and we've I've smoked a cigarette inside of his kitchen and it's the most out of place thing know, you could right? ever do. You, you just have so to weird. leave the I'm door like, open <laughs> so you're freezing your balls off and then it's good. <laughs> so you're just Dude, standing there. I would like, say, oh, uh, have you guys seen Beetlejuice? Huh? But you haven't. You haven't seen Beetlejuice, so I can't fucking use that reference. But he sounds exactly like Beetlejuice, but real life. He's like a real life Beetlejuice. That's that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he legitimately sounds like he just fucking like chain smoked a pack of Marbreds. In you in did. your face, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and then like took a hit off of a F two fifty, right act, straight off they're... the muffler of a F two fifty, like, <laughs> 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 and then he just, <laughs> <laughs> now he smokes the fucking light Marlboro Golds, but... I know, <sighs> but that's not what he sounds like. Nope, no, he sounds like a straight up fucking Harley muffler. It's crazy. You Great don't expect guy. it. Yeah, yeah. he's Great awesome. Guy. I love him. Yeah, great guy. Oh, dude. Might say the N word a lot, but I guess I do too. Do you? I mean, only like a f- three or f- seven times a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like, it it's his mecca. <laughs> yeah. it's his, uh, he has to say the N word seven or what is it, nine times a day? Mecca <laughs> is the name of the location where you have to go. I know. You're thinking the, of the, the direction. <laughs> but he had, yeah. 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 You have, you have your own prayer rug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about a, 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 a guy, white guy, at the city hall, clanging a big bell, and then like, singing out across the whole town, right, it's time for everybody. To- yeah. <laughs> and and the whole town at the- What are they the- called? Yeah. Those? Not, para- <laughs> not parapets. Are they called minaret? What are they called? The fucking, the towers that they play the music from. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a minaret. Is it right? Minaret. Yeah. It, okay. See, I'm not totally retarded. <laughs> I know words. I know all the best words. Yeah, imagine if that song played all day, every day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> dude, I'm ready to sacrifice a goat right now, dude. <laughs> Straight up. Like now, dude. That's, that's what the ro- that's- <laughs> who the fuck pitched that? Like whose idea was that? Like, all right, guys, we gotta select a song to play all day, every yeah. day. <laughs> who can do the best screaming goat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need something to signify like our connection to God. You know, like it's the whole like, and then you just it's that. <laughs> yeah. It's like we okay. fucking nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's hungry? Cuz there's some fucking goat meat ready to go. Oh my god. You know, the Christians actually or the not the Christians, the Romans decided that they should sacrifice the goat. Who's that? Jesus? Jesus. Uh. They instead of they 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 were like sacrificing a goat is not enough. We need to sacrifice the goat to clear our sins. Nice, but that sounds like that you're that you're saying that Jews are meat. Oh, this is completely unrelated, but I figured you'd <laughs> enjoy this. Uh, we were talking about Dope as Yola earlier. His buddy John Hashhouse has a tattoo on him that's fucking uh, uh, Jesus wearing polo slides. I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, you were talking about Jesus and just hmm figure that that's a real tattoo that he has and it's that's fucking funny. hysterical <laughs> what pose is the jesus in it's um is it buddy christ is he like doing the no i believe it's i believe he's like riding on a horse like the polo oh nice it's a, like putin yeah like it's, putin. it's something <laughs> does he have a shirt off i don't remember man just <laughs> fucking that wasn't the important part <laughs> He's wearing sp- the devil fucking- is in the details, my guy. Okay, but he's wearing yeah. fucking polo slides. That was Jesus. Anyhow. Yeah. Jesus on a horse. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Putin on a horse. Yeah. 
Could you imagine if Biden, if they did a campaign where they put Biden on a fucking horse? Oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> <laughs> he would fucking fall off, dude. He'd have to be wearing a helmet. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Dude. Hold on. They need crash pads all around him. <laughs> like the ones used for bouldering and climbing. Oh, man, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> <laughs> That one got me. <laughs> oh, bad. Dude, could you imagine? And then did you see the one with the sunglasses? Please pull the one with the sunglasses. <laughs> oh, <he's> a- <laughs> oh, he thinks he is. Dude, <laughs> what do you think his body count is? And that's a double meaning uh, with I, him. I feel he's posing with the Horace yeah. because they got together. Yeah. <laughs> no, horses dub their penis yeah, with see, his. Yeah, look how beautiful that horse is. Yeah. Horses use his penis in their profiles. <laughs> yeah. like, that's how much of a man Putin is. <laughs> do, do, do people use horse penises in their profiles? <laughs> like you open no, but, a Twitter header but, and it's a fucking yeah. but, but, horse but, talk? Putin's such a man that horses use his penis in Manly their profile. Manly men use a horse penis in their Twitter <laughs> profile header. <laughs> that's what you're insinuating here? No, but like uh you know in Barbie how they said that the horse is like Barbie. a man that the in Barbie they said that the horse is like a man extender, right? <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> now he's got some he's got some titties too. Man, horse cocks in there. Yeah, it looks like uh, well, it looks like he's like an average weight, but has pectus excavatum. It looks like a fucking older. profile yeah. picture. Looks like uh, he hasn't done a push up in a long time. Dude, it looks like a fucking <laughs> profile picture on the the uh, 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 what is it? The uh, oh god, greater expectations or whatever. Great expectations. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Uh, but they did a parody. Uh, lowered expectations, and it was like fake profile dating profiles of people that are like with profiles like that. They take yeah. like a real profile. Huh. Uh, dude. Yeah, I haven't seen that. That's funny. But doesn't that look like a single dad profile? Like it does. he's like, <laughs> yeah, I wear these cool shades, and I don't wear shirts, and I have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Come on a date with me. We'll do all the fun things. And a country. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh yeah. He's got the Oakleys on, bro. Yeah. Hey, the Oakleys are the are the sign of a fascist state. If you ain't got Oakleys, you don't yeah. have a fascist state. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. You don't have a rich dad. Oh, dude. No, but what do you think uh so like what do you think Putin's body count is? Do you think he slays the puss? I think if you can Does he pay for puss? I think, you think if you Putin's can a payer for puss? Yeah, no. He doesn't have to pay for anything no. ever. But it's his money anyhow. Isn't that kind of how isn't it Russian isn't it? Well, the ki- he's the I mean he's the fucking the ruler of Russia. So he has been married he's a, he, well he was it says yeah, he, has he was daughter, married for 30 years to that guy, Lyudmila <laughs> Alexandrovna Ocheretnaya. Bro, even her name is ugly. Yeah, dude. That's... Even her name is ugly. Like you can see how ugly she is by reading her name. <laughs> like that read that name again, please. Yeah. Hold on, close your eyes. Lyudmila just... Alexandrovna Ocheretnaya. Ocheretnaya. Lyudmila. Bro, Lyudmila. That is disgusting, bro. It makes your face do an ugly thing. I don't speak Russian very clearly to those of you who who, who, who didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, but what what you were going somewhere with that? Oh yeah, he used to be married. Yeah, so he for did, thirty years uh, he has from eighty three to twenty thirteen. Okay, and then who what? And so, well, you were saying like like does and then he, he got like, slay with the horse? horse? Well, there's uh, that. Now he's with the horse. There's how much <laughs> puss has he slayed? But then, yeah, did he fuck that horse? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> he gets whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Putin can fuck any horse in the land. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
until he got Are they going to stop him? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, are you going to tell Putin he can't fuck that horse? Yeah, you fuck the horse, and you, yeah. you have it killed so it doesn't tell anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Deep State 101, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Yeah, but now that brings us to the other body count question, right? How many fucking bodies, like, how many people is, is Putin killed? And oh, I'm not killed. saying I'm not saying, saying like I'm not with... talking like Obama like how many people slayed... died while he was president. No, 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 no. I'm but do you think he's face slayed... to face murked out? Do you think he's like, slaying people... puss now though? <clears throat> do you think he's slaying puss now? Yes. He gets the best boner pills on he gets earth. Whatever yeah. he wants. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> if he's slaying puss and killing people, I'm assuming like if you combine those numbers, Does he pay we gotta for the be getting close pussy to like to be the Hitler in? numbers, right? He's like, no, I want you. I want to punish the Ukrainian pussy. <laughs> like he's just taking it out on just you, <laughs> Ukraine. He's like mail order bride. From, he's like, oh, my new shipment from Ukraine yeah. is in. I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Jesus. Anything you can imagine. I you don't want to think what? You don't want to think about women getting taken from their home to fucking be shipped to have sex with Putin? Is that that's not a pleasant thought for you? <laughs> you clearly haven't been to Epstein Island. Yeah, right. <laughs> someone's not, not, not. Yeah, someone's yeah. oversensitized. Someone what a get party their, pooper! Yeah, someone <laughs> didn't get their invite to Epstein Island. <laughs> he didn't get the memo. It's like hard Hogwarts for fucking yeah. millionaires. <laughs> Everyone's just waiting for their letter. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but seriously. How many how many people does the internet say that uh, Putin, Putin is killing. responsible for killing? Does he have an official? So how does okay? But if the Epstein Island invite is like Hogwarts, how does it get delivered? Because I like does an underage child just show up at your doorstep with a letter like? <laughs> I was curious about this too. So what, <laughs> yeah. what do you got? Oh, it's same day delivery. <laughs> <laughs> So the child comes and delivers it? Yeah, because like Hogwarts, you know, they have the owl that or, flies to you and gives yeah, you the letter. Or is it like regular mail? Oh, oh no, it's Teen Mom. Dot, teen Moms. Dot com? <laughs> yeah, Teen Moms. That's where they get them. It's, a, it's, it's really a like a... The underage kids? Like are R. Kelly's letters. farm. Right. Yeah. But do they make them Teen Moms in the first place? Oh, there's a really good yes. Sistine Chapel, Sistine Mom 16. here to me. Yeah, <laughs> CIS is the Commonwealth of Independent Sistine States. Sistine Chapel, which yeah. is the it's like the Eastern Europe, right? The Commonwealth of Independent States. It's like previously was Soviet Union and now individual plates. Sistine getting flown out. Yeah, to uh, the chapel, to the something there, <laughs> to Putin's there. chapel. There's a really good. It's joke a there. Sistine Chapel. <laughs> Yeah, there's a really good joke there. We're not gonna get to it. Yeah, but it's to, there. Take it to the there's a really good. Yeah, you guys yeah. Leave it in there's the a comments. really good <laughs> human trafficking joke there somewhere. Yeah. We just have to. No, they'll leave it in the comments. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, someone make us a bar, please. We'll read yeah. your bar of the Next week. Next to telling us that we're hella gay and weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a good. No, one. but how many people has Putin <laughs> killed? I don't know. That's I looked. It, I looked it up, and they, 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 there was not even an article written on anything near the subject. It yeah, like, right. No, really. It's just scrubbed. It's scrubbed. Like he's that powerful. Like he can just scrub the fucking internet from all of his wrongdoings. Yeah, it's all just talking about. Oh, it's like you know his critics are suspiciously dying. You know, but there's nobody saying like here are the people who Putin has killed. There's no one is even <laughs> speculating on it on the on anywhere on the front. But but what if you say what's uh, Putin's official body count? So was Putin? Was Putin? He is, has he been the president since it like of Russia the whole time? No, 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 no. no. Um been like how long has it been? Thirty like? years, something like that. Yeah, he took yeah, over after time, like uh, yeah. Boris Yeltsin. Boris Yeltsin, right. Yeah. So there's a list of Russian assassinations, Yeltsin. um, but not just Yeltsin. of Putin. Yeltsin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when well what we can look at we can sort by date and then look at the number. Oh, he was a looks like eighty. So <laughs> what when did he start? There's got to no, be No, but before that, he was part of the KGB. Like, he was a right. straight spook, dude. Like, he right. was a hired gun. 
Oh, like, there's oh, there's a the bunch documentary of on Netflix from like the beginning of the conflict between Russia and U.S. to today, and it was pretty fascinating. Yeah, good at pissing them off. Yeah, he was, no, he was a president for a while, but I almost feel that it's planned now, and behind closed doors, they're actually friends, but they keep the conflict going. To keep the, the to, money flowing. To keep the power and have a common en- or common enemy. <coughs> keep the money flowing. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, to just perpetuate conflict. It's always good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that kind of, like, is what sport is. It is what brand rivalry is. I mean, it is that. It's a, There's a documentary that, uh, I can't remember who made it. It's called Why We Fight. And, uh, Cause it's something to do. Exactly. <laughs> it's fight, fuck, or feed, right? Yeah. Like that's yep. our our primary fucking. I like I like going to the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Not gay. That's uh, the fuck part. Different part. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I only go to the museum. To he only fuck. likes to fuck gay guys in the butt, dude. Yeah. I do feed the gay guys something when I. Anyways. Or Is it a sandwich? Some of that tube Is steak. That ragu. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you put it in a menstruating pussy before he sucks your dick. Rag goo in my mind this whole time has been a a cum joke. I'm like thinking rag, on a rag like menstruation. It's the yeah. goo rag, that you come yeah. onto a rag. rag no, uh, rag, rag rag like menstruation. Rag goo, rag goo I, is I menstruation know. and it's red sauce. How do you but, not yeah, get exactly. there? The joke so, the joke that I'm making here is You've got rag albino goo. rag sauce. No. Oh, oh. Like like you have a cum rag. And it's the goo you put in I your cum rag. No, it's I, rag. I, I got goo. you. No, I got I got you. Yeah. But right. I'm on your side too. S- tomatoes based sauce. It lends itself. Got to be white. Yeah. Well, right. But the, the joke earlier, the original thing that spawned the joke was rag goo and prego. Yeah. Yeah. You rag so goo gets menstru- you prego. Yes. Menstruation doesn't get you prego. It's the no, opposite. I, actually. Well, I'm like I'm well aware. Yeah. Like like yeah. so so it doesn't work. Neither but if it was them. all in there, you would get prego unless <laughs> well. you used a rag a goo rag. For your rag goo and didn't put it all in there right. to make her prego. The and then rag. you sacrifice the goat for the cysteine. Sure. Yeah. For yeah, because yeah, Jesus you might as well sacrifice right. yeah. the goat. Exactly. <laughs> sacrifice the cysteine. What else are you gonna do? So Jesus can rock some filas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus needs a new gold necklace, bitch. Get out there in them streets. Hustle up some fucking Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we hustling on? Uh, yeah. Some <laughs> cheeks. Just yeah, stop. You can't leave us hanging. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm, look, I'm learning. I'm learning. I mean, it's a, this is a learning life. Yeah. Exactly. You know how to talk to people. Yeah, I'm really learning how to formulate sentences. How to win? It's and a good thing to people. do it on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I'm really good at this, actually. If come to think about it, you know, if you think about it, actually, right? <laughs> if you actually think about it, you'll realize that you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good line. I'm gonna use that in the future. If you if you really stop and think about it, you're that's not right. <laughs> The year, that's not true. <laughs> you're wrong. No, so, no you know, if you actually stop to think Dude, about it, do you know you're how wrong. many of those? That's just factually false. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if you really think for a second, there's so many of those that you have given me like throughout the years of like, you, know, you, you really just tell stop someone and off it. and like, like you're, wrong. you're wrong. You know, you're, yeah. you're just, you're fucking wrong. Like, especially when you'd ask questions in class. And then I you'd did end that up- to my family the other day. We were arguing <laughs> about whether it's cheating to car- uh, count cards in blackjack. And like they were being really uh, weaselly about the definitions of words. Not cheating. Uh, well, that was the argument we were having, and I was. They were being really weaselly about the definitions of words the whole time, and I was like, "Guys, like, you agree with me on this whole thing, right? Like, all all up into a certain point. Why are we like using numbers in your head and playing the <sighs> fucking the, right? The but probability it's a semantics game. game about the what the word cheating means. Right? Yeah, no. Because if you if you if you define you cheating as what I think cheating is versus what the casino would kick me out for doing is right. That was the whole conversation. 
but it was this whole thing about like we we started getting into all these other definitions that were making it really murky and it was like stop stop oh, yeah. just you we're, you're you're lying right now you're being obtuse you're right i i hate that yeah. shit because yeah. what did you call me well they're obtuse. just really being <laughs> it, they're just taking a, a a position of opposition Yes. Right. Right. Just because. I, I hate that shit. Yeah. I do that shit with people in League of Legends all the time because it makes them mad and they lose the game when they're throwing. But because uh, you hate your family. Uh, but yeah, I don't do that. Well, that's <laughs> the thing is I don't do that with my family. I'm okay. not just going to I don't want to just like have a like, argument that's just for no reason. I want to just there's a thing I think and I want us to think the same thing in like two minutes. Hopefully. Yeah. We don't need to like do the all mind that weird meld shit, that we right? did on here. That was we did. We even a finish plus. that ever. No, it was a, an abomination. <laughs> That was great. It was, it was just Brandon a catastrophic and I fucking failure. Confused. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Yeah. Um. No, but that. But what? What was the conclusion there? Because I uh, don't think it's cheating. They, I don't think counting is cheating. Someone diverted the conversation off of it once I called everyone out for being obtuse and like Weasley, uh, in their definitions, and so we moved on. Once you was, started name calling, an actual, like once I you started call name calling, Weasley. I called Alex <laughs> obtuse for a definition that he used, and then uh, we, and then everyone was like, "All right, this is gonna be an actual argument." Like you know, like it's gonna gonna go from a disagreement. You mean to it's like, g- oh, we're almost about to start having fun, guys. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, well, they did not want to do there that. There might be some excitement. We don't want any excitement. But what I was saying was, um, uh, here, real quick. No, but I, I'm, uh, I don't think it's cheating unless you are altering the cards right. in any way, physically, or altering the rules or anything like that. You're playing within the bounds okay. of the game. This but is a matter of probability. Think about it. I don't think it's cheating. Whether it's cheating or it's not, it's happening it's not in the your same head. Thing You're of not whether altering. You should anything. be able to do it. There, there is a specific. So whether it's cheating is entirely based on whether the people hosting the card game. If you're not doing it, you cheating. shouldn't be at the table. Right. Well, the that's defi- how I feel about right. it. Right. But if the- you're not playing to the rules all the way, right, but that's and, not and what this optimizing is. This is a- all the fucking. But when you play a game, don't you optimize the to the game to to your best advantage to win? Why are you fucking playing the game if you're not trying to win? If you're not using the fucking tactics and the strategies that puts you in a position to win, why the fuck are you even at the table? What are so, you talking about? Like, why are you even at the table putting money up if you're not there to fucking win? If you stop so, yelling, he'll probably explain. This is inherently a semantics conversation. Because <clears throat> what I was arguing... How's it going? Uh, uh, I'm just taking over for a sec here. <laughs> uh, so what I was arguing was that it is cheating... Not because there's something wrong with it, but because you're going to a place that says we're hosting a card game for you to play, right? And they don't but let don't you do it. But don't use your brain, right? I don't think it's stupid. Handicap yourself. I think yourself. it's stupid. Well, the problem is that that may, if you count cards properly, you actually end up with a positive EV over time, which is the it's not a casino game at that point because they would never host a game that's negative EV for them, right? At the house. So fuck you. Don't gamble then. Don't have a casino. No, the point of a casino is to take people's money. I know. And if the point of playing at a casino game is to take the fucking casino's money. And if you're not altering the game in any way, right. and the thing's only happening inside of your head that gives you the advantage no, to win because right. you're at the table to play a game it's not the conversation to win. We're having, but, but it is. No. It is because it I plays agree with in. Because I agree with you on that. The disagreement is that the word cheating is defined here by what the casino says is cheating. If what's their definition? T- so but what's say, their definition? How so are they defining cheating? Is if you count cards, we kick you out of the fucking casino wholesale. It's not just like, oh, you're not allowed to do it. It's they will literally not allow you to enter the establishment anymore a lot of the time. Yeah, and they blacklist you. So it's they think if they consider it cheating, they're hosting the game. And so it's definitionally cheating. I think it's stupid that like the one way you can actually win a card. Here's game the, the deal, guys. Casino. We're going to host a game that you can come and gamble to play, right? But you actually can't use the strategy, the best strategy to win right. the game oh, it's here stupid. or we'll kick you out. But you can't play the game. If you actually try to win and use the strategy, the best strategy to, put, to fucking optimize your chances to win, we'll, we'll kick you out, right? So, no, this right. is stupid. That is stupid. This is stupid. No, we agree. You don't play a game and then not optimize... the. The whole point of playing any fucking game is to win, and this kind of is what happened at the at the table. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but so 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 what's? But, but at you, least uh, it's but interesting. Understand, but you agree with me on that, and uh, you also agree we agree on the fact that the word cheating in this case just means. And I specified that this is what I'm saying. 
cheating is defined by the per like if if it's cheating to do free money in a monopoly because they don't do free money in that house but you pay, take the money anyways you're cheating right even if free money on or free parking what is it free parking you know free parking rule right if monopoly. i take my brain into your casino you know and i use things is, inside right? of my brain you know what the free the parking table? rule is right have you heard of that have you played monopoly at someone Fuck else's house you. before or did you what did you have free monopoly mm -hmm. you know there's a free parking spot right yeah 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 if you get free parking there is a rule in some households is just completely subjective rule per household that when you spend money on anything, it goes into a pool in the middle. And then if you land on free parking, you get all the money, right? Oh yeah. Right. I've played that. Yeah. yeah. That's like some people use that. Some people don't. Right. But if you went to someone's house, you said, don't, we don't do free parking. Well, it's like a, it adds a lottery to the game right. that gives anybody also, a chance uh, increases at any the point. speed of the game because there's more yeah. money in the economy. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. Which is good for a monopoly game. Yeah. But yeah. Because just of, because you think it, free parking monopoly, is a monopoly. Look, if you don't implement that, that rule in Man, Monopoly, right dude, it will gridlock because people it gets fucked up. Right, because there's no income. Exactly. So there's only 200 around. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, yeah. so we both agree that's a good rule. Yeah. Now, you can't go to someone else's house who doesn't do free parking, and then they say, we don't do free parking, and then you take the free parking money when, it's, when you land on free parking. That's cheating, right? Yeah, but then you're altering the game itself. You, they, you have to, because then other people would have to put in, they would have to agree no. to that rule of the game, right? No, no, well, you're agreeing by sitting the, down. No, but that changes the actual game. No, 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 play. no. right. But, but you're, that changes but the you're game. You're sitting play. at their thing think, and they're saying, we are going to play a game where you're not allowed to use free parking money. And you go, okay. And then you do it. So you are cheating. Yeah, but whether that, it's. But if good, you implemented that rule, everybody would have to no, put no, in be, to get the free parking. His point is the house is determining the The house the determines rules. what the word, the word cheating only refers to a, because the definition of cheating relies on the definition of the rules of the game, which are set by the house. So whether something is like, should be in the rules is a different argument. And so people, and so, and so that was the whole thing. We were having this conversation and we were having a, uh, like a, we ended up having like a dis disagreement on whether they let you card count or not, which is like. They don't let you. Here's the deal. Down. Catch, catch, catch me. Like if you right. go in there, like okay. that's, that's we're their, rehashing the same thing. But they for the get the, they have the, but they have the burden of of proof, of proof right? Like they well, have they to don't catch have the burden you. of proof. They can kick anyone out for them, whatever they want. Yeah, sure. Right. It's but, a, it's but they have not to even catch on, you. It's not even on American fucking soil. They can do whatever they want. There's no laws, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they, they they set all the laws, right? But I I think that's the gamble that they take. The gamble that they take is like, hey, we're gonna let you play here, but you can't actually play the game, right? Okay. We just give us your money. You can hang out and get some free drinks. That's what's really happening here. Yeah, free drinks. Yeah, free drinks because yeah, you're losing money. Yeah, what are they? Uh, what is it called? Uh, Viva Lost Wages. There's people who go there and spend their whole fucking paycheck. That's insane, dude. Oh yeah, some people who have that gambling shit bad. Yeah, that's like uh, huh, that's like playing fucking Street Fighter, but no Hadoukens. No Hadoukens. Whatever you do, yeah, like, no we can we can play, but no Hadoukens. We're playing Tekken, but you actually can't rotate the stage. No footsies. Yeah, Just yeah. No blocking. Play straight. You can't play block. Play straight with me, man. No blocking. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's absurd. That's a fucking stupid thing. The thing that's it's happening in your head. How do you police that? You have like fuck you. You have to police me. You have to police me. Kick me out. I'm going to use the best strategy to win the fucking game that I'm playing. It doesn't make sense to play a game that you're not trying to win. Well, I mean, for the casinos, they have two options. One is to not host blackjack, and the other one is to deny card counting. Yeah. Because if they put blackjack, but they would just they... be guaranteed over time losing money. Like, So the, why would they even host that? Because Is they're going to make it up on to other lose games. Money with card counting? If you are perfectly following basic strategy and doing your card counting spread right, you have like a five point five percent advantage. So normally, really? you're, yeah. normally if you were to play basic strategy, just always, you have a forty nine point five percent like outcome on all your money in blackjack. You'll mm -hmm. go negative a tiny amount because I believe that the reason that that is because um, if a dealer gets blackjack, it sweeps, and so there's one matchup where it's unbalanced, right? Um, but the when you card count with a proper you know bet spread and everything and, and like everything is lined up properly yeah even though a if, dealer if a computer wins would do it properly even though a dealer wins the tie you will win enough slight advantages over the whole thing that you're like instead of being negative 0.5 you're plus 0.5 hmm. so if you do it over time you will win money and if they were to host a game where 
all the players were in, you know, like it's regular. And for what do they call the, positive. what do they call the stack of cards? There's a name for the actual shoe, the shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and there's how roulette, many decks are in a shoe? Like almost 50, 50 though. How many decks are in Except a shoe? Except for the zero. Well, there's a green. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Is it's a little bit minus EV for the players. So the house will slowly gain money or quickly because of the scale that that's run at. But yeah, the the house will get money over time, guaranteed mathematically. And all the slot machines are fucked. Slot machines are you are way way negative EV. Bro, you that not shit do that is shit. the most garbage Bad. shit. And like people just come and. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, all the fucking old people gooning at those machines, bro. I hate it, dude. They look Crazy. like zombies, bro. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, they're just can they're just converting food to farts, dude. They're it's just, just sitting flashing there. lights in front of you that you don't understand, bro. <laughs> Straight up, dude. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, we should bring Asgo back on if you want to talk about card counting and shit because I lost. he knows how to do it. I yeah, lost seven dollars on slots. The quickest I've ever lost seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> And I immediately stopped. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. never Here's the deal. again, like, ever. <laughs> there is, like, a, an entertainment value, I guess. No. But if I'm going in, I'm Maybe. saying, like, <laughs> this money isn't for me to win, right? 20 bucks. is That's literally. Yeah. If I go Same and way. I'm going to fuck around at the casino, if I'm going to cards... One, I only I, play. I Texas go in Holden. with that mentality of like I'm gonna waste twenty bucks, and then when I actually have to figure out how I'm gonna spend that twenty bucks, I literally am just like, I don't want to fucking spend this twenty bucks doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this isn't fun to me. Yeah, he no. can attest. We went to the casino, and me and my girl just ended up going on a fucking like what well, everyone was supposed to be gambling their money we went to the buffet. So we, yeah. no, we just went to had a, little, a date. Yeah, well, we, just we had, like, went to the casino, fucking, and we, we said. Everyone has thirty buck budget. We have one hour. Everyone reconvenes and sees how much profit everyone made. And did whoever, anyone and ball out? Gonna win. Did anyone ball yes. out? Kai won two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. dope. blackjack <laughs> out of thirty. Hell yeah! And then he lost it. Ah. The, the next time he went, he lost the exact amount, and That's... so he was zero. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's got he's plenty well off. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so oh, it was a, it was a challenge to sp- get you know turn your thirty into most in an hour. I wanted to participate in the challenge. I had full and 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 yeah, Maddie feels yeah. the same way about fucking gambling as I do. So it was when it came to like, how should we try to fucking spend this thirty bucks? It we just locked up and was like, fuck, I'm hungry. I was like, let's go get Here food go. instead. And then we all yeah. reconvened at the end, and they're like, how'd you guys do? And I was like, lost it, lost all the money, but yeah. we gained like fr- we gained fried pickles. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dude, I, I totally won some fried pickles for thirteen ninety five. It's cool. Actually, it's not even a gamble. Like you just give them your money, and it's like yeah. they just give you the fucking. No, basically, it was like <laughs> stomach ulcers might come in or might not come in. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a negative EV. No, it was immediate. <laughs> it was immediate. I'm like, I could, not, I could lose this. <laughs> I could lose this thirty dollars on a chance to have more money, or I could just spend this thirty dollars on having guaranteed like milkshake, fried right. pickles, <laughs> yeah. fucking whatever like, the fuck I'd much else rather we got. Win, I'd much rather win a milkshake and fried pickles. <laughs> yeah. All just, you gotta do is talk to this lady. Yeah, this is the <laughs> easiest game ever. You just put your money in her slot, and then she. <laughs> You just reminded me of the SpongeBob episode where they put the 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 like coin in the horse pussy. That was what? crazy, bro. There's an episode of SpongeBob. Was oh, that a Dan Schroeder production? <laughs> Dan Schroeder. <laughs> What's his name? Dan Schneider. Is it Dan Schneider? <laughs> yeah, which is which is Schneiden is uh, snipping in German. Oh, circum. So, so they were they moils. Say, they say sn- yeah. So a Schneider could be a circumciser. A yeah. moil. That's why Dan Schneider. A royal a moil. Schneiden. But the Royal Moil. There's an episode of SpongeBob where they have out front of the Krusty Krab a I only like cut a, regal a seahorse on a on like a post, right? That's there, uh, and it's kind of, you know it's supposed to be an approximation of one of those little like rocket ships outside like the dollar store. You put a quarter in it, it moves seahorse. around for a second, right? And the kids in it. Um, but there's a seahorse outside, and like because it's but it's in, a real underwater. seahorse, yes. But That's it's an hilarious. actual living seahorse nice. on the post, and so yeah. they go up and they're like, put a coin in it, right? And instead, but there's no mm-hmm. coin slot, and so he goes over and it shows off screen. You hear, 
you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then like the guy gets like kicked off screen by the sea horse. Oh my god! Like, oh my Hold god! Hold on, Dude. I got it. I got it. He, I got it right here. Hold so on. So that was like what? That was like Brent Dog's uh, butt stone, ocean but it was a, a coin. It was a pussy Air. coin Air. and a seahorse. Yeah, check it out. Oh my god, dude. Oh. No way. Dude, that's inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Dan Schroeder was on that one. I you don't know think it, it has anything to do with Dan Schneider. And that the was sliders. Nickelodeon production, though, right? Right, but he did live action stuff. I don't know. He it must have been. He had an influence. That I horse can was tell. getting some live yeah, action. SpongeBob was, totally. SpongeBob is always crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, if yeah, he that. was into it, he wouldn't have kicked him. You know what I'm saying? Where's the coin he? slot? <laughs> yeah. I think it's a woman horse. He put it in the horse pussy. <laughs> or was it in the keister? Right? Because you know how the uh, the male seahorse. One of those is called a slot. You realize that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was there a reference to a slot? Right, which one? Yeah, he says, he's, I can't find the coin yeah. slot. Oh, the coin slot. Okay. Which one <laughs> is a slot? But if uh, they're- a horse are, pussy. Are they- mono the, Hey, the are, are seahorses <laughs> monotrines? <laughs> uh, let's find out. Are seahorses monotrines? Because then it wouldn't matter, because then there's only one slot. No, right. they are not marsupials. What the, what the hell? Monotrine. Holy shit. Okay, does a seahorse have a cloaca? Just Google yes. how do seahorses Yes, fuck. they have a cloaca. So they're monotreme. So it's just one. Yeah. One, yeah, so it doesn't matter if how it's a male. How do you say multiple seahorses? Seahorse? I, yeah, viele Seepferden. That's how you say it. That's how he says it. How do yeah. you uh, say it? I would say... Seahorse. <laughs> seahorse. <laughs> seahorse. <laughs> Yeah. How about you? How do you say seahorses? Plural? Plural. Yeah, look, there's a flock of seahorse. A sea, yeah, seahorsen. A seahorsen? It's yeah, a seahorsen. In the ocean. In when does the E-N ever <laughs> the, apply there? Oxen. Unless you're, maybe if you're seahorsen <laughs> around, right? But then that's I-N-G. It'd be an apostrophe. Yeah, no. What do they call that shit in other languages? Is it a seahorse? Ooh, what is a seahorse? In Spanish. Alex, what is a seahorse? Alex, Mark for 300. Bio. Oh, it's a Zepfadchen, which means little seahorse. Little seahorse. It means like seahorse Ito. Seahorse Ito. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Chen is, is Ito. Okay. So Zepfadchen. Ze meaning sea, fad meaning horse, Chen meaning Ito. Seahorse Ito. I don't know why they call it that. I guess it's a little, it's smaller than a normal horse. It's hmm. the diminutive. I believe it. Ich liebe Seepferdchen. <laughs> Seepferdchen sind komisch. What about seahorse pussy? <laughs> All right, control shift. Is that sushi? Here, or is it control shift N? Yeah. I don't use Did Chrome. Did they have seahorses in Germany? <laughs> <laughs> no, they have seafenchen. What is it? Zepfadchen. Zepfadchen. They have Zepfadchen. <laughs> Zepfadchen. Zepfadchen. Oh my God. The German word for pussy is mushy, dude. <laughs> Holy, they've got it down, bro. Dude, that is crazy. No, yes! the first thing there is a mushy, Reddit. Mushy, 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 mushy. there is a Reddit article mushy, of a sushi. guy saying, I think it's funny it's called mushy. Mushy, <laughs> sushi. Mushy, mushy, sushi. Mushy, sushi. Mushy, mushy, sushi. All right, the cameras are all are all dying here. <laughs> all right. This is a good note to end the on. The cameras are horse. dying. mushy. Yeah. yeah. Mushy, sushi. In. Zepfetchen, Let's mushy, sushi. We're wrapping it up. Seahorse, pussy, out sushi. Out our, go check out our Patreon. <laughs> Indulge in, su indulge in sushi and breakfast seahorse sea pussy. pussy sushi. Yeah, breakfast seahorse pussy sushi. Make sure to get your breakfast <laughs> seahorse pussy in. Uh, buy our merch. He's gonna answer that phone call. But in the meantime, <laughs> fuck, fuck on, on fuck and fuck, fuck off. off. Yeah. Ooh.